watch it. I, I, I'm gonna quick scope these guys. So. Ah, that would have been. That would have been. That would have been sick. That would have been playing the fucking game. Just gonna wait for that to be done. Wait for Kyle to be here. No, don't fucking stun me. Jesus Christ. No. Fireball. I don't know what's going on. What? <laughs> Making a protein chip. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up, guys? You slept here? I, uh, yeah, bro, we were just all talking last night. So we're just gonna... The game! What's up? Should we just roll it? Roll it. Alright, so, uh, Full Send Podcast. I'm not sure what episode this is. Do we know? Eight? I think this is eight. Eight. Um, we're gonna do this one a little differently today. Um, we're just gonna be, like, kind of like a boys podcast. So we got Steve here. I guess you could call him the guest today. But it's not gonna be, like, an interview. Um, we're just going to kind of go with the flow and just, uh, talk about some stuff. Mm -hmm. We've had a fucking, well, yeah, we're here in Steve's penthouse right now. Beautiful penthouse. When did you, when did you actually like cop this, Steve? Fuck. Um, I bought it like probably like six months ago. I made the commitment to buy it, but then I moved in probably like two to three months ago and before I was I was living in the same building, but like 20 floors down. Now I let Alex, my filmer and editor, and Steiny, my shitty assistant, live there. Oh, so they live in the old spot? Yeah. So. Were th weren't they living in here before? No. I oh, thought that were? was a tiny house, though. He keeps saying, like, is his apartment. It, you yeah, he, they, it's theirs, I guess. I mean, I own right. it. Steiny thinks everything is his. Yeah, the car, security, <laughs> driver. Yeah. By the way, if you guys watching or listening... This is Gabriel, our assistant. Um, we hired him in January. January? Yeah. That's January. When you, Brazil. So he came down. We when we went to Brazil, we went to South America. I forgot I wear contact lenses. So I, I like ran out. Um and we needed someone to bring them from LA. So uh our guy Sammy, I don't know why he brought you. Well, I was but working from home at that time. You were in LA. I was in LA, yeah. I've been leaving LA. Everybody asked that question, by the way. I was living in LA for like a long time already. Like I've been in the US for six years. This past week completed six years. I'm, As I'm an illegal US. immigrant or? No, I'm a legal immigrant oh. right now. I, I'm like, I'm a resident. So yeah. Nice. So yeah, I went to, I went down working from home. I went down to Kyle in January to give his content lens and some merch. And then I never left. And I was a translator for the trip and now. And right away we met this guy and he was like fucking so fucking horny right so away. Horny. Just like yeah. always so being horny. extra, but but good extra at the same time, but sometimes annoying extra. But yeah, that's what you need, you know? Yes. And then uh, your sister got to be a little bit horny sometimes, right? To yeah. make stuff happen. But you're like horny as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I started Kyle and I never left and I'm his executive assistant. It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> you love adding that executive assistant, eh? Well, I only have one assistant, so I guess it's like. Well, but then exactly means no, I can but, make a decision for but you, you're right? good. There you go. This guy's the GOAT. He's very, very good. You are good, um, Gabe. But, yo, one thing I've been noticing, like, I think we've all been noticing it, is, like, there's a lot of a lot of fans that are undercover gay, I think. And Gabe's, like, not, I don't want to say Gabe's exposing there. them, but take all I don't know. I don't, maybe they're straight and you're just turning them gay, but no, no, it's, not it's like, something that we got to talk about, gay. I think, because it, it's, like. You cannot turn somebody gay. But then also, we, we are aware of, like. You could turn. I feel like you could. It's okay, like, not, you not, definitely Sorry, I don't want to get fucking canceled but like you're like i don't know you're you're making them come out of the closet then yeah because when we start talking i think you guys have a, such a like a male a male um what to say yes audience <laughs> sorry not a like, lot of girls watch us no, you know? no, and if yeah. they do it's because of their boyfriends yeah, yeah their boyfriend love you guys and when i watch one guy close to you guys and stuff but then i've been getting since i've been getting more exposed and stuff i've been getting a lot of dms and a lot of like love from the public then i like I like that, you know, but like sometimes you got to watch out. And, and we've been talking a lot about that. And it's when like it's hard to filter. But then when I go out with you guys, a lot of guys come close and a lot of people mm -hmm. come close to talk. And I don't know if you just feel more like, oh, now I have a chance to say something. Now I have a I don't got to be this manly to be close to the boys. I can be a little bit more like open, well, right? Because before, like, <laughs> before people are afraid. gotta be this manly to be yeah, close to the boys. Yeah, because they were afraid of like, oh, Kai and Steve, like, fuck, I don't. To be honest, before, like, I didn't know who, what Nelk was before, before January, and then when I see that, I was like, Man. even in the beginning, I was like, well, I don't know if I should, if I should tell them or not. How should I do it? Like, they are really like, is a man audience. So yeah. if I say something, I don't want to be like. 
her brand and all yeah. was totally different. We knew you were gay, yeah. I Yeah, <laughs> yeah we I, did. When I realized that, I was like, fuck, let's have fun, right? <laughs> we knew, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we were always, we didn't care, yeah. Yeah, and then I, I was really happy about that. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, the boys. and then Steve and Kyle. I remember Lucas came up to me. We were fucking, it was, I think it was Alan's birthday. Yes. And we were all just clipped on the yacht in Miami. Like, I was hammered. And then, like, Lucas comes up to me and he's like, yo, like, Gabe just, like, fully told me he's gay and shit. Like, we got to, like, address it right now. Oh, I'm like, bro, shit. Like, I can barely stand right now, you know? Like, Yeah, Lucas came to me that day. He hugged me like, man, I love you so much. Felt like, good though, right? You're the, yeah, felt good. Best Sarah was there anyways. Um, and then she was, he was like, I need you to talk to Kyle. I was like, why? He gets like that when he's hammered. <laughs> yeah, he gets really touchy and he gets really fucking... He, yeah, he's he starts looking, to you know, worry That sounds like a whole other story. <laughs> yeah, for the next worry. episode. But then... <laughs> But then, like, you got to talk to Steve, you got to talk to Kyle. And I was like, man, like, okay, it's fine. So he gave me a hug, and then everybody came together and gave me a group hug and shit. I was like, oh, thank you. And then it was fun. It was fun. And then, like, I think that opened, opened so much opportunity. And then Steve was, like, after that, I talked to Steve, and he was so sweet about it and, and so supportive and everything else. And then we did the first video. He gave me a card. Thanks, Steve, again. And then, um, then yeah, it was fun. But the thing about the fans, like, not, I'm not, like, it's just so much happening that people feel more comfortable to come and talk about the, the subject, you know? They feel like, oh, like, and, but sometimes as well, the fuck part is some people pretend to be gay to get close to you guys. Right. That's what I've been telling so you. So that's something happen. that we've been talking yeah. a lot behind, because behind the cameras, like, I gotta watch out. Of course I do. I don't want to be like disrespectful also you know what i mean because we that's one thing we learned too is that girls will message us just because their boyfriends yes yeah, yes their boyfriends they don't want to follow come, you come like, chill yeah but it's weird how you've developed like a sixth sense when you literally know yeah. the reason as to that's, why they're yeah, dming you right that's why you're going to develop that as well it's like yeah to it's like, an extra step. like you know i don't know how you know but you just read it and you're just you like you just tell like you just yeah the me guy, personally i'm like she ain't gonna fuck with me. Like, it's too good to be true. So then I'm like, all right, she got a boyfriend. And then she does. So. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this boyfriend thing kind of like, no, because Tallahassee was kind of complete a story, you know? But anyways. Yeah. No, I was in, I don't know if I told you guys the story, but when I went to Cabo with Gabe, like there was like this jacked fan. Like, I just like, I just didn't expect <laughs> that he was gay. Like, he's just a typical Nelk fan. Like, yo, what's good and shit? Like, that was funny. But he probably benches 225. And he came up and then Gabe and, um... Gabe said he was gay and I was like no way like I don't think so oh yeah and then later in the night like the guy <laughs> it's not even like Gabe was all over him he was all over Gabe like <laughs> was kissing on Gabe's neck and shit like nothing happened Gabe's about really way, out here just like was, was was fun it was a fun time like that trip I love it Kyle though I really again. that's like it's so it's so dope yeah you, you could really pull you ever had a like a, a <laughs> three way with a guy like one from the back in the middle and oh, you no, or something Gabe Gabe has like it's like I when, wonder, it's like when, I really wonder. It's like when you just joined Nelk. Like he oh, just boy. joined Nelk and his sexual shit's about to go from zero to one hundred. Like it happens to me, it happens to everybody, yeah. right? Like once you get popping that like he was Gabriel Poncho, now he's sexy Gabe. So sexy it Gabe. it's gonna be like Gabe's probably sexy in for some shit. We need to get that right? Gabe, handle, sexy Gabe. You, you can't let it affect your work ethic. Yeah. And then it affects Steiny's work ethic. Oh yeah, that that fuck is something else. It affects you know? my my assistant's work ethic is gone. Well, Damn. I have a, I have a thing we know that many Steiny, times. Steiny barely pulled before for sure. You know? Now he yeah, now he pulls. You know, now but he it, pulls because he takes your car out, he takes your security out, and then yeah, so you make the perfect atmosphere for him to do that. Well, no, not that. Then he gets right? he gets. If I ask Kyle for his car, fuck no, I'm 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 done. No, right? not necessarily. What do you mean? It depends. Can I take your car tonight then? Depends for what. Not for like a six. Like you got to show me the guy, and I got to be like, <laughs> he's worth it. You know, yo, like, Gabe, did, didn't didn't a girl that? like. Uh, turn you like bisexual or like Holy you fuck, like girls. Right Let's hear that story. I really want to. I know just that. think I don't know if it's bad, but same, we're not around. Like now that we have a gay it, guy yeah. in the group, I think it's our job to. I, I'm sure people have a lot of questions. I, I, no, I, I want to like, know that. I had one gay okay friend growing that. up. I had one gay friend growing up, and he came out when he was in like grade twelve, it. and we never knew. It was like me and Lucas's friend. We never knew for sure if he was gay, but like we always like kind of suspected. Yeah, but. I don't know. I think it's. I don't know. No, yeah, I want to know that, that story. That tell tell the people the story of that girl. So we were we were in the boat, right? And then um and then our editor, our guard, was with this girl, and everybody bring that girl home, and then everything, and then we are we're hanging out in the kitchen, and she, I was just like, nah, I don't want that girl, and then she came over to me, 
She was like, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I was like, yeah. She was like, come to the room. I was like, what the fuck? Like, she doesn't know that I'm not into that. And like, I don't know. But like, I went to the room with her. I don't want to be rude. So I went to the room. She was like, hey, sit in bed. Yo, and she was all over me in bed. I was like, what are you doing? And she was like, I'm in love with you. I was like, okay. She's like, yeah, but I'm in love with you. I was like, okay. She's like, she was like, I want to fuck you. I was like, fuck. What was going on in your mind right when I was she like, said that? What I gonna do? Did you, <laughs> did you do it? Like that, that shit's not gonna work, yeah, that's dude. Funny. Did you do it? And yeah. then, okay, so then we went out. I think we found was, our new podcast. Host, and, then, that? and then, yeah, fuck Bob. Nobody fuck likes Bob, the guy yeah. that way. So, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? What's Nobody likes the guy that way. <laughs> I'm just giving him back what they want, right? I guess. He's always yeah. zapping shit, like, doesn't work. <laughs> So, <laughs> Steve, so, okay, the best part is right now. Okay. So, she was in the kitchen back, and she was kissing me in my neck and stuff, and I was like, fucked. Might as well just go for it. Nice. So, it was the first time I realized I got turned me on. Did you get hard? Uh, yeah, that came with the process, right? Half chubs? Yeah, it's probably No, but did chub. you get fully hard? Yeah, I did. Okay, then you are not. <laughs> okay, you but hang on. <laughs> hang on. And the first time that, that we happened. Gotta, we got to address that. We like, have to address right. that. The first time that happened, completely turned me off right away. Because we were in the car and we were like, oh, let's go back to Steve's penthouse. And then you seen her ass and you were like, let's all right. Go to, when go Wait, on. this is in Miami? Yeah, it was here. She was like, let's go to Steve's penthouse. So I called Steiny in the oh, car. Gosh. I was like, hey, Steve is up. <laughs> we're going back there right now to party. And then, sh and then she went crazy. She went crazy on FaceTime. She got my phone. Like, where's Steve? Where's Steve? Where's Steve? I yeah, love she him. Wanted I to love fuck, him. She wanted to fuck her. Steve. I, you say you love me. <laughs> you were hurt, like, eh? She's like, <laughs> wait, wait which chick done. is this? I feel like I know her. I was done. Yeah, you knew her because she was a cloud chaser. We were well, all, we were all in the she? car. She's she... like this. She flip out. She's like, I don't like you anymore. Don't get me wrong, Gabe. I don't want nothing with you. I just want to fuck Steve. That's my goal for tonight. She was literally saying oh, she was a cloud oh, chaser. Yes. So she put up with you just to get this team. Yes, yeah, she tried me. She tried Osgard. She tried everybody in the team. And, and I didn't, you got fooled. You got hard. I didn't girl. know that. I, I'd like, yes. Which for a chick fucking is girl. this? Which chick is this? It's a blonde chick that be, like, be following you around for like Yeah, she, she was a blonde chick, yeah. Osgard was in the back. So he was like he fucking was, cloud we chaser. Like, mad. Wait, was Osgard trying to wheel her first? Yeah. Yes. But like, so she Osgard got his bitch robbed by Gabe. And then you got your bitch robbed by Steve. Yeah, that yeah. is that's I, wild. I was asleep. I remember that night. Yes, and I then was asleep. I was like, oh, "Fuck baby. that bitch!" So we dumped her out. Security so was like, "Hey, like we can have a cloud chase in the car." So she was basically it. saying she was a cloud chaser. Yeah, oh, she literally like, the admitted. whole time. Oh my god! So yeah, that, hey, thanks that was, for being honest. You know what I mean? But like, all of us was, in the car, she said were like, she was what? in love with you. Yes, and that's I was hilarious. like, "She's like, Gabe, don't get mad at me. I love you too, but I just want to fuck Steve tonight." I was like, "Well, this is not happening." Bye. Have a good night. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. Did that yeah. hurt? He did. It hurt, even though it was a girl. It didn't yeah. hurt because I was like, "Fuck that!" You just like me. to be loved, eh? Yeah, like I get in love so yeah, easy. You love to be loved. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I get in love. Did, so you, did you did you fall in love with the chick a little bit? No, you were gonna you fall know, in love after two days of texting like, her. Since we were just in Tallahassee a couple of days ago, it's hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I told you guys, like bro, I you're found, a sex symbol. You're gonna be a yeah. sex symbol soon. Yeah, you are a sex felt, symbol. You pretty much are. Yeah, I found love so easy for people, and then like when I felt attraction for somebody, and then I don't know, it's just weird. Like I mean, I want to go back to Talhat so what bad type right of, now. Like, what's your like, what's your type? Well, I'm like that, right? Like, I know, I, like, I know I feel, you like them barely eighteen looking. That's no what man, not Gabe. On. I feel like it's it's. It's I like the, guys. I like men, right? Because I I tell Kai all the time, if I want a girl, I would date a girl, right? So like I'm type of. So like, you don't like the feminine guys? No disrespect, but I no. It's not I, your type. I don't. I don't feel attractive. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't you, like manly females. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, not attracted to them. The I'm not, I mean, you know, I watch them in the UFC and shit, but I'm not gonna be attracted. That's to them like when guys. a guy goes up to a girl and acts like kind of like, hey, girl, like that shit. Like it's the same yeah. thing with a. With a girl that's manly. I don't like that. I feel like a lot of these girls, though, in L.A., like, they like those, like, feminine type guys and shit. You notice yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, they're, they, when they're too feminine, I feel like, like they're tricking see, like, them. I'm not, like, I mean, I don't, like, I like Bryce Hall, but, like, do you see how they, like, kiss each other on the lips and shit? Yeah, that oh, is yeah, a very that's, weird that's, thing. That's, like. That's weird, yeah. That's, uh, that's really weird. That's, that's, that's weird like, I, I do, like, you know, those are cool guys. You guys are watching, but the kiss, like. 
they kiss each other on the lips and shit for like fun and shit. It's kind of like that's pretty upset. Is that, is that the maybe thing? we send maybe we send Gabe through there? Yo, Gabe, let's test that out. Send Gabe to a TikTok party. That'd be interesting for you. Yeah, they party a little different, I guess. Yeah. What question? Let's <laughs> <laughs> get over there. You ever thinking about kids, Steve? Um, I did at one point, but um, right now the world seems kind of fucked up. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to have a kid. So that's how I feel. How about you, Slim? Kids? No, no, no. I want to have kids when I'm like. <laughs> this guy looked at me. I was like, "Fuck!" I just don't want. I don't want to. I, I don't know. I just don't want a kid right now. Like, I I don't know when I will have a kid. Probably yeah, down 19, the line. You know? But yeah, I'm 19, man. That seems like insane to even think about. Yeah, it. just having a little fucking salami running around. It'd be like good for the crazy. videos. It would be. It would be. Be good for Happy Dad. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> we're gonna need to hire a, <laughs> three days. We're gonna need to hire yeah. a bunch of women or we get some Gabe's as well and uh oh Gabe just would be take, the best if I had a yeah, kid take care of I'd, I'd, it'd be so lit yeah I to take care I wouldn't of be able to Gabe would just of fucking handle it man for yeah. sure <laughs> I want a dog well, for the house but I don't think I have a time dog to take care of that. yeah can, we were gonna no. have we dogs. can buy one if you take care of it but then can what I? happens when we travel and shit well just try to take care of them yeah yeah sure Chef Jules take care of him wait what sure. happened to the you remember we were gonna get some pimples yeah we were that would have been crazy. We could do it. I just, I don't really want to take care of it. Yeah, I just, like, when I come home, it. I just want to, like, all right, what's up, man? Just yeah, I just want to pet him. We'll That's we'll it. Like, oh, I'll take it for walks and shit, but. <laughs> Dude, I would have a kid if it was, if, like, I knew 100% it was going to be a boy. Because. Uh, yeah, what I you, okay. So I think girl, you can do that now. I yeah, do. I, don't know. I do. I can't have a chick, dude. Because I'm a guy. I, I hang out with guys. Guys are. Yeah, but you're gonna yeah, have your bro. your baby's gonna be a, I'm, a chick later on in like yeah, she's yeah, having now. a girl. She's gonna be a chick, be, and oh she's my gonna God, be, that'd be scary to me. Right when you have a girl, you probably just like realize like when you're about to have her, you're like, oh my God, I did so many bad things. Yeah, ugh. I did so many I, bad I things to chicks. Yeah, then some guys just fucking her, and yeah, that's can't. crazy. Bro. Oh my God, it's I like don't a deal with the chick. I don't want yeah. That. Now you know why dads are so protective and shit. Oh, my God. Talking about that, since you moved out to, to Miami, like, everybody knows Steve is taking a little time here in Miami. How's that been for you? Like, do you feel Miami is kind of a little bit different than California? Yeah. Oh, like, yes. body style I mean, and stuff? Florida in general is different than California, but Miami, I mean. It's fuck, fucking insane. It's here. insane. Yeah, I love it. Um, Party every day. How How can you handle that, like? When we came, when we come here, like everybody, like is like, no, no, I don't drink when I go out with the boys. Like I gotta be always on top of shit. But like it's hard for even Kyle and everybody else to handle being like party every day. How you do that? Steve's more beast. I, bro, I'm fucking 27 now too. Like when I was like, like even three years younger, like fuck when I was 19. Like you just don't get hung over. But like. Yeah. We were talking bro, about that yesterday. It's tough literally. now, bro. Like, like, hey, why the it's a battle? Everybody was asking, hey, the boys not gonna go out. The boys gonna like literally last year they were out every day. And she was like, yeah, I wasn't here last year, but like, I'm glad they're not because yeah. we have so much stuff going on right now. We have to take care of so I've much just, stuff. Like, I've like done it. Like, I've been doing it for like six, seven years. Like the partying, and like for me now, it's like especially I'm trying to get in shape, and also yeah. like I didn't have a whole business to run before too, right? Mm -hmm. Like now I'm like. The head of a fucking multi multi million dollar business. People are relying on me. Like, I can't just be fucking hungover three four days out of the week. Like, I wake up at seven a.m. and I'm already getting a phone call from like someone in the company. Yeah. I can't. I got to be mentally in the game. You yeah, know? that's good. So to I pick and choose well, my sends. Cause... I pick and choose my sends yeah. now. Let's oh talk God. about, dude. You remember that time in Howlerhead when he slammed the Howlerhead and I almost died? Remember that shit? No, oh, I don't. Shit. He almost killed me, dude. Like it was insane. I know, because when I get super drunk, I become a, a playful, like a, like a beast, like a gorilla. No, yeah, I'm like I'm, a, I'm like a like a 200 pound pit bull that's trying to play. What in Abu Dhabi? Yeah, in Abu Dhabi. So he slammed the Howard head, right? Remember that night? Yeah, in front of Dana, and then Kyle was already like clipped. He was already hammered because he was just like he just sips on his beers, like you know he's sending like his I got bottle slam. Yeah, you were you were. Done. I was trying to wheel the ring, girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit? You had it too. You had it. You had it. And then Damn. that other that I don't I don't know if I say it. Fuck it, Brett. What's his name? Whatever. Well, whatever his name is. Some but, other guy, Bob's friend. Bob, yeah, Bob's CBD friend. guy. Yeah, dude. That guy was just like all over her, and she she was just looking CBD at Kyle. Guy. 
It's crazy, you no, know, because Kyle was that hammered, and I'm like telling him, and he's like, "No, Kyle like, actually real? had the ring girl, bro." I mean, it's me. Like, I don't know. I don't. I didn't think I could pull the ring girl. No, you could have pulled her. She was like, she it's was a ring girl. You. That's pretty. Like, she was on you. Damn. Yeah, and then Steve bottle slammed. Right, Kyle was already messed up, so we're going on the golf cart to the hotel, and these guys are going nuts. Like everyone's like just chilling. We're in Abu Dhabi, and then I'm just trying to help Steve up, and Steiny's trying to help Kyle to his room. So I bring Steve up. This dude is so heavy, dude. Like, you're so heavy when you're just, like, done. So, so fucking heavy. I'm like, all right, I'm going to push him on the bed. The hardest thing I've ever had to do. Push him on the bed. And then this dude tries to get up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And I push him on the bed again. And then he puts me in a headlock. In a headlock. And I'm just like, bro, Steve, please stop. And I'm like, like, when my voice goes quiet, like, when I'm like, fuck, stop, please. Like, I'm actually, like, I'm about to die. And thank goodness his, like, Arm got off, and then he just, like, fell asleep. And I was like, all right, are we done here? <laughs> like, Steiny was like Steiny was messed up, too. He was drunk. As always. Like, it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, no, it was crazy. You can't yeah. for nothing, by the way, so... No, nah, Steve is, Steve's crazy. Just that was, like, dude, what dude. a crazy trip, bro. Abu Dhabi, that was, like... That was insane. Insane. Watching the Khabib, Gaethje fight, it was insane. So That insane. was last year, the end of the year? Last year, and, like, I think November... November, yeah, right? That. October. Yeah, that was that was a damn, they treated us like I mean what a crazy what a crazy thing it is to just be friends with fucking Dana White. Yeah, that's, a, that's it is crazy. interesting. I love like, it. Like, bro, I like that shit's crazy, man. I know we've already talked about it, but yeah. Growing up watching UFC and shit and like looking up to Dana White, like that guy's a boss. Just watching like, the UFC itself, like what he's built as well. Like you said it before. It's just like it's crazy. Going to like a fight where it's like only like 10 people in Abu Dhabi and getting invited to that. It's like insane. It's just like, what what other guy would you want in your corner, like supporting you? Like maybe like Drake or something? Like, Drake no, would be no good. Dana, Dana but like, he doesn't give a fuck. Dana's like the perfect. But Dana's like but he perfect. Doesn't, yeah. He doesn't give a fuck about anything. He he just is true. Like, he's yeah. just real. Like, he, he really is. Yeah. He doesn't care what people he think. Care. He's just himself. So. Yeah, he's running a big business. Like, he shouldn't care about shit. And yeah, that's a guy cool that's guy. like, a lot of people who run like, big businesses have to care about shit. I know, but like, if you care about, if he then cares about every single detail of people talking about mm -hmm. him. No, but like, he wouldn't get destroyed, like, mentally and like. No, but that's how everyone is well. gay nowadays, right? It, yeah, it's just crazy to see. Like, Kyle's mentioned it too again. Like, the fact that he kept going, like, even though COVID, like, happened, like, he, he just wants to, like, just. Like yeah, he's he not stopping. That's what's like, great about Dana is because he's never made like excuses. Like never he, he made always excuses. finds a way to just get it done. Yeah, like no matter what it is. Yeah, like that's how good he is. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a guy that you could just hit up. I he uh, he hit me up because he wanted to come to the Happy Dad shit in Boston this week. Is he? He's no. he's leaving tomorrow. Or no, he's leaving today. today. He wanted to link up though, but. Uh, he wanted to come to the Boston. If you guys are listening, uh, Happy Dad launches launches in Massachusetts this week, so yeah, we're we'll we're gonna there. be out there, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Check the check happydad dot com. But uh, yeah, he wanted to pull up and shit. But yo, we gotta go to that fight. Which November one? Gaethje, Gaethje, Chandler, Chandler is Gaethje. Colby Covington and Colby Usman. Covington and Usman. Yeah, that's a good. That's card. gonna be a shit talking oh, yeah. fest. I want I want to see that. That's fight. gonna be fucking crazy. Gaethje's fighting only three rounds though. Really? I, yeah. Oh, because it's not championship. Yeah. It's like, I, the that's Usman Covington. Insane. Those press conferences are gonna be. Yeah, those guys crazy. are gonna go ham on each other. Covington's hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's a funny guy. He's I funny. I love you watching fuck. FC, by the way. Huh? I love you watching FC, by the way. You love watching it. But he's but he's trying to snag the fourth ticket. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Ah, maybe we'll bring it's Gabe. Fun, Who knows? You know? The yeah. guys are shirtless and shit. It's like, makes happen. <laughs> I gotta be honest I don't understand shit about FC but yeah you just like fine. watching them roll around and shit well, you pretend it's like you in the guard and shit <laughs> <laughs> no the last the last two ones that we've watched at the house has been pretty fun imagine like, Gabe in the ring and shit. yeah UFC night's dope yeah we have done like UFC. three times at the house and it's so fun yeah UFC's dope man you used to rip like harder drugs a lot when you were younger no? oh well, yeah I mean I would just rip acid and how many times you ripped acid? <laughs> you're fucked I like five or six times. <laughs> Don't I, do that, Steve. Five it's or six times cool. what? But I had a acid. I, I had two tabs, and each tab was double dosed. So we already so one tab is basically like two servings, like crazy servings. So I took one, waited like an hour, 
didn't kick it. I didn't feel anything. So I was like, you know what? Let's take the another. So right now I took the another. So right now that's like taking four huge servings. And then, um, fuck, I was with my buddy, um, and we had these two, these two whores over. Can I say that? Yes. We had these two, these two whores over and they're drinking four locos, this and that. I'm fine. I'm chilling. And then the acid just hits me and it's like, these girls, these girls sucked so bad, like, cause they're drinking being just being dumb girls. And then I'm here on acid and I'm in a whole different planet, right? I have a whole set of eyeballs. So it was like, I don't know if it was me trying to get away from the chicks, but I jumped in the, the, the water cause we we're on like a river. And then I, I was just tripping balls. I, I swear it was to get rid of the, the, to get away from these chicks because when you take psychedelic drugs like that, you can't be you can't be around dumb girls. You can't. I'm, bro, I could barely be stoned now around like people, bro. <laughs> I couldn't imagine acid. But anyways, I it was just the craziest thing because I was swimming, and then and then my body just I got I got paralyzed in the water. Holy fuck! Wait, so you were actually in the water? Or you I was in the water. Right? Yeah, and I got paralyzed and I couldn't move. And I was starting to go down and I was just screaming, Michael, I don't want to die. Was that your friend? It was my buddy, Michael Busk. I was saying, just, Michael, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Whatever. And then, but it was crazy because I was going down and, and I 100% thought I was going to die. And then when, I don't know if it was the acid or this is just what happens before you die. But like, it was like when you. I thought I was going to die. And then my brain, I saw like my entire life flash before my eyes. And then I remember it was just, I was just thinking of how I was going to be on the news. St stupid idiot drowns on acid. And, um, that's sad story. Don't make me cry right now. no, that's not that was sad. Just crazy. Just, but it was like, yeah, <laughs> no, I remember I can, like, like picture you, you picture, like, you just see your whole life flash for you. I don't know how you explain it, but it was like, just, do, you, just, do you still like remember like that, I just remember, like vision of seeing or like no I just remember just thinking how I was gonna be on the news. Damn. And then how did you get out? Um. Do you fuck, remember? I my, I guess my body just started to work again. Thank God. But then I went to the gym. Straight. <laughs> I don't know. This guy has a power that straight I don't. To the gym. Understand. I called. That's I called. So, I called. That's so Steve, Steve, right? I called my buddy Vince. Said, "Dude, I'm tripping on acid. Need you at the gym." So what did he say? A, what are you hitting and shit? No, I mean I don't know what he said, but he came and then I, that was the first. The legs oh, are... I remember being. On, I remember being in the gym on acid, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" Because you looking at yourself, you really, you really see yourself. I was like, "Jeez, I got dude, arms or legs that day." No, it was the first time I ever benched. The first time I ever benched 315, which is three plates, was on uh, acid, which is... After almost dying. After almost dying, yeah, I was sick. Empty stomach. The only thing in my stomach was four loco and acid. And I that's a hell of a combo. Wow. How long ago was this? I, I couldn't tell you. It's probably like 18. It's five years ago. It's oh, crazy. okay. I'm glad you're better now. Yeah, yeah, Proceed I can't. Like I can't handle yeah, well, that. I can't handle it right now, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, acid's crazy. Yeah, it's like you get a whole new set. I always think of acid as you get a whole new set of eyeballs. Like, it's not like you're like, dude. That's so interesting. <laughs> I'm letting it up a little bit. Steve yeah. was the when I first met you. Yeah, Steve was like, Steve's like cleaned up his act. Believe it or not, I think right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you used to zap. <laughs> yeah, I was a little crazier when I was younger. I was down for more shit. Um, I guess back then I had nothing to worry about, but going to school, I mean, there's no worries in the world when you're that young, right? Yeah. What do you got to worry about? Going to school, that's it. I mean, you really have your financial worries, no, nothing. I mean, right now, there's so much shit to worry about, especially when you're on the come up. There's so many people that want to take from you, and there's so many people that want to, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, I know. It's so when, easy. Like the more success, it, it, people it's don't a, get that. Yeah, I think target though. right now. But it's a like, it's a true thing when it's like when they say like more more money, more, more problems. problems. It's true. Like just because you got money doesn't mean you're happy. It's like everyone's out to get you, which is crazy. 
Yep. Um, I know now that we're big, like it's like how many extra expenses do we have to pay for with the money we're making? Like now it's like you got to get a house that's like gated because like yeah. you got to have your privacy. And then it's like, oh, the gated's not enough. You got to pay for 24-hour security because yeah. people try to break into your house. You yeah. got to pay fucking X amount for that a month. You got to have security with you everywhere you go. You got to have an assistant. Like you got to fucking. That's a lot. Yeah. Just to like, lot. just to be it's safe lot, and lot, like, lot. you know what I mean? It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, just for the comfort and be safe and everything else that we do is like, like... Well, some shit you need. It's like, we can't go out to a bar without security, right? Yeah. No. You have to that's pay for that. That's, a, that's an expense you have to pay for. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's certain shit, shit that we're choosing to buy and shit, like, but certain shit you, like, actually need now, right? People are jumping over the fence or gate. At the house, yes. Oh, my God. That's People insane. don't realize how scared that is. If you have security at the house, if you jump somebody's house, you can get shot, like, and it's... Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Don't do that. Don't be dumb. I know. Our security doesn't fuck around, too. Oh, they don't fuck I around. Hope, I hope no one crosses the line. I hope they do. I want some. I hope they don't. Because Someone's going to get Yeah, fucked. honestly, I kind of do, too. Because, like, no. I want to see what they got. Well, yeah, hopefully. They look like they want to hurt people. Yeah, yeah they're don't ready. fuck for our security. Because like, those fuckers are going to. Those guys are not going to stop. Play. Who's that guy attacking? And they're out, fed bro? up, too. Because our fans are like. They're intense, yeah. they're drunk, so they've been dealing with shit, our security. You One know? of our security I, guards <laughs> tapped out Bradley Martin in a, yeah. in a wrestling match. So yeah. Yeah, you guys saw another video. Somebody to do that to Brad is like... Yeah, which is crazy. That's insane. It just shows Brad's got, like, that bodybuilding strength. He's not really, like, he's not really strong. He just kind of looks like it. He's just more... The, That's what I learned from that yeah. situation. He is strong, though. He's no, a good-looking, yeah, though. Strong. It's good. It's fine. You hit Brad's on Brad, too? Well, he's a good-looking guy. What does that have to do with anything, though? Well, I'm just... It is a comment. Oh, wow. Gabe's trying to hit on Brad out here now. He's a, cool He's a nice guy. Who Who do you like in, like, the space? Like, Brad, who else? Well, the bad not, not because of that. Why? Well, you looked at Adrian. You're like, Adrian? <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks right at Adrian. Because me and him talk a lot about that already before. Uh, yeah, me and Adrian, we work a lot together. So, it's like, we have a lot of talks. So interesting. Good. I actually had drinking superpowers. Yeah. Actually did. Not with just bottles, but with Everybody, like I always everything. ask for when we go out. Like, hey, let's chug. Let's fucking dump this bottle. I was like, dude. Because one thing I, time for I remember, you know, like full bottles of wine, right? Yeah. Like they're big bottles. Wine and cheese. No, but I, but I was be able back in the day, like I could Oof. drink three full bottles of wine in under a minute. I've done that, like, and I think about that. I was like, well, how, how, how Any did of those, bro? Even the Jack Daniels and the Cloud. Yeah, the Jack Daniels. But was like, how did I crazy. do that? Like, even yeah, six, that one, even six one. full Coronas in like a minute fifteen is pretty crazy because the cart, like, bro, that it was insane, dude. Like, there people always say, like, I can outdrink Steve. I always just say, like, yo, just do the Jack Daniels like he did, because like that's like, oh, yeah, I remember that fan, yeah, like that. That's you so can't fun. do that. that but I can't no even do. I can't even do it now. I had, no, hell no, I had superpowers. Like I could literally drink anything. But you do still have it. Like you're the only guy that we know that gonna drink the whole fucking night, and next day he's in the gym. It's like, yeah, that's if you want to meet crazy. Steve. Go in the gym that after a band. That's how you're going to meet him because <laughs> this guy is like, I don't know how you can do that. I call security. Hey, what's Steve? Oh, he's at the gym a long time ago. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's fucked. How you do that? So I don't go to the gym. I get depressed. So I got to go to the gym. Yeah, right. the gym's key. Seriously, I get depressed if I don't hit the gym. I get all sad. I should have that as well. But That's why South America was tough. So we didn't hit the gym much. I literally get depressed with no gym. Yeah, I'm at that point too where gym's like, like it's so good for you I mentally, can't quit man. That. Yeah, I get if it. Fucks me up. Yeah. If you start your day off with the gym, it's so dope. You got to start it. That's why these trips are tough now, too, because it's like when we're back home and in, in uh, the house, it's so dope because you just wake up every day. Like I wake up like seven o'clock, gym eat office yeah, breakfast ready and then yeah it's so dope you eat clean feels so good and then these travelings it's just like holy fuck it's yeah, just yeah that, like, that's when you're like yeah it's like fuck if you guys don't know we've, it, been, we've been traveling for like right now today i like a week and a half weeks. almost two weeks so straight. tuesday we were in montreal yeah montreal was wednesday nuts. we were in st louis. st louis then we did what Same. we did thursday we went to i don't even know anymore Gainesville. Gainesville. Gainesville and Tallahassee. Then Friday, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. 
Saturday, Miami. Tomorrow, Boston. It's crazy. Crazy. Insane. But yeah, that's crazy. And we all, Steve, are going to be there. Like, and then from each, it's just a logistic of this. Like, when I saw the logistic we're planning like a month ago, I was like, fuck. That's why insane. were all the people in Tallahassee, they were confused why we weren't like coming out and shit? Yeah, everybody in Tallahassee was like, where's Kyle? Where's the boys? It's like, guys, we've been traveling for like a week like already. Like the fans or like the David Booth and them and shit? No, every, even the fans and everybody else was like, where's, where's Kai? Where's Steve? It's like, and that's why we talked before, like in the pod already, like everybody think you guys the three years ago between right now, but they don't see behind the scenes. Stuff yeah, that I was the only see. one that went out. Every, like yeah. I gotta, I gotta take out Kyle's, Kyle, Kyle's calendar sometimes, and then he has a freaking meeting at six a.m. on the East time or the Pacific time, depending where we at. And it's like, I gotta make sure he's home the day before, good to make sure he attend to those meetings, because it's just so many brands. I, so don't many get me stuff. wrong, I still like, I you still, I, I still like yes. drinking. I still like partying. It's just like it's not possible to do it the way we did it before. Yeah. I mean, when I was glad. twenty-one, driving across the country. Obviously, you're like, you're just having fun. Like, you know what I mean? But now it's like, I've already done that. So it's like ascending Tallahassee or ascending Gainesville doesn't like, just a, fi- just it doesn't fire same, me right? up the way like you used to fire me up. You know what I mean? I rather like, like if it's Steve's birthday or it's like something dope or like, you know, even like once a week. But when it gets into those bendies now, it's just like, it's not practical for the business too and shit, right? Yeah. We don't even get like a ton of footage out of it. Nah, right? nothing. Yeah, and we suck at filming hungover, yeah. for sure. Like pranks we and shit, hungover is yeah. like, oh, that's my worry. It's, like, it's so just, much tougher to do a prank hungover. We're just not in our element. No, we're just, we're just like lazy. Like you feel like more anxious. Yes. Like that's when I'm planning calendar and stuff to do, like, because we gotta plan the whole week, right? When we're gonna travel, when we're gonna film, when we're gonna do this, times, agenda, flights and stuff. So when we sit down and talk with the team, hey. I think I like, hey, let's film this day, 8 a.m. I'm like, no, that's not happening. I didn't make sure Kai go to his breakfast. Kai has his gym, and then we can film. But if we're going to put a party a day before, we're not filming next day a, a big thing, right? It's all realistic talking. And then the way that we're growing so much right now in making that kind of contact that you guys making to expect for the audience is like, we can do that stuff like halfway, like with, we cannot be a half cent on that kind of thing, right? It that's is all, tough that's now, yeah. A lot. We're like, we gotta film, we gotta film at least three content for every week. And me and Kyle have been talking with the whole team. We're talking now. You just, I so feel much like we demand. set the standard really high too. Is that something that is tough for you, Steve? Now that you've been doing like every week on your channel. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough as fuck. Has it been tough like recently? <clears throat> yeah, because you always want to do just as good or better than the last video. And then when you when you load the video up with like crazy shit and they spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars usually it's like Because your videos go out of control. But to to keep that up every week is like, tough. It's tough mentally, physically, financially, everything. And then you know what sucks too? Like you take one week off. Then everyone like, pounces on you. No, they don't even pounce on you, but the YouTube algorithm is literally dependent on the uploading week. every week. Yeah. Like one of the keys to like even Steve's success on YouTube, Nelk's success on YouTube is is the consistency. That like if anyone ever asks me like, yo, what's the key to YouTube? It's literally like you have to be consistent. Yeah. Like you have to upload mostly every week like for as long as you can. And you have to like choose the date and stick to the date. So if we if you take one week off, like literally one week off the next video back is instantly going to be bad slower yeah like right away like you notice it right away like it's just like the youtube algorithm doesn't push it the more yeah. you upload on the same day like the algorithm picks up and says oh a lot of people are watching on every monday why like why does it do this so like i'm going to push it on every monday that's what i've been explained by like inside people but yeah and so you it's fucked to. you have to do every week and yeah like but then said, it's like if you upload every week you're also trying to like force, you're trying to like yeah. make a video that's like so great every single week. Mm-hmm. And our fans the are- The extra point that is like, you exhaust all the options, right? Cause something that we'll be talking f- so much and everybody been asking actually on the videos are like, damn, that's not a prank, a, a, like a prank channel anymore. It's a, like, it's a movie, it's like a Netflix or something like that, right? And then people are asking like, I have a bunch of text messages or a bunch of DMs asking like, hey, 
what it takes to produce a video like this. And something that I, I want to open up and talk a little more is about the behind the scenes of it, right? Because everybody just saw, just, I'm sorry, everybody just see the final product out on out on on, uh, on YouTube every Monday. But behind the scene, the production, the team that takes to make all this happen is involving logistic production, camera, editing, the talent, the talent, like, how many, how many talents we have? We have seven talents right now, right? And it's so much involved. We have all this team behind the camera right now that nobody sees. And they ask me like, like two days ago, somebody asking, hey Gabe, how long takes you to guys to do this video? It's like, man, like the last one that was a big one that we did was the go Ghostbuster, the, the Ghostbuster 45 one. minute prank. 45 minutes video. That video took our production team to make is insane. There's too much stuff involved. And then when we finish, it was like, we feel so proud doing that video that day it was like fuck we kill it it was amazing but the work is insane we don't yeah. stop insane. working right I want to touch on the Ghostbusters prank um cause people were and this is another thing now too so we've we've hired like a new uh producer that works with Adrian uh and his name's Griffin and he, he's like dope he worked on like the Eric Andre show and stuff right so we're always investing like building our team new trying to make work. our videos better and better so um, he kind of helps us with like pranks, like the Bigfoot prank. Mm -hmm. So when we pranked, um, badge, badge, yeah, he, what he does is he posts, and this is what they did for the Eric Andre show is they, uh, they'll post like an ad on Craigslist or like something like that. So he'll post and be like, Hey, looking for a guy that is a Bigfoot expert. Um, you know, we want to do this. We want to hunt for Bigfoot, blah, blah, blah. So when we were doing our Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters prank, uh, we posted ads on Craigslist and we said that we're starting up a Ghostbusters company and we want to interview people to be uh, that are psychics to try to find ghosts. Yep. And then I guess the main guy that TikTok went viral and shit. And people are so quick to criticize now, too. Criticize. They just, now that you're big, when we were smaller, people never did this. But now when you're big, they just... They want to believe that, like, yeah, you know, they, they want to believe. believe the worst. Yeah. So right when they, I guess the guy, Jonathan, that we did, I don't know how long he was even in it, but he was in American, what's it called? American Horror Stories. Yeah. He was in American Horror Stories. I never watched that show, to be honest. I don't know if you guys have, but was, was he like a main character or anything? Or like, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've never extra, watched it either. Right? I feel like he was just what like an extra in the yeah, background. Yeah, he was like an extra shit. in the background. Yeah, I've never seen it. But yeah. regardless, so he ended up, he's done acting jobs before. So I guess people said, oh, he's an actor. Nelk fucking hired an actor and mm -hmm. just completely faked the video, which is obviously Something not true do. at all. Like we're not, we haven't been doing this for six years to just start fucking hiring actors. Yeah. Like we, sure. we had no idea that he was an actor and I genuinely believe that he thought it was a real business for sure. I think so too. We definitely got to be more careful when we're filming in LA because everyone's a fucking actor. Yeah. So, all, and they're broke actors too. So they're just probably scanning Craigslist for jobs and being like, oh shit, medium, like, sure, I'll go do this, you know? So that's one thing we got to be careful of too. But it's fucking annoying how they're just like, obviously, they just think like, yeah, I feel like the real fans know, but the other people are just so stupid, like, oh, Nelk's fake. Like, yeah, everyone should know. Yeah, man, we're just going to we, fucking start hiring actors and faking we pranks. We, like, don't, we don't fake pranks. I mean, but yeah, we do got to be careful because everyone's in LA as an actor. So I told Griffin that I'm like, it just sucks to put all that effort into that video. And then it gets criticized because people think we faked it. We got to find people in like Iowa or some shit. But like I just hope they believe else. now. And I think we talk about it. We already, you, you already posted. I posted on Snapchat because yeah. like. I think the real fans already know that we're not going to fake shit. Yeah. But people want to believe now. Now that you're big, people want to tear you down. They well, want to believe it. the worst. I mean, there's gonna, there's always going to be people that are going to be like, man, they're killing it. Like, and they're just going to have some sort of like, like, oh, it can't be this. You know what I mean? But we, that's how hard we work, you know? Yep. We work that hard to create that good is. videos that every we week. Believe in. That's about it, right? Yeah, I mean. We live, did a good job, but that's, we deliver a good job. We did the best we could. And that's it. People don't know how much joy, obviously it's a business, but people don't know how much joy we get out of making a good video Oh, shut, and, yeah, and getting good it. feedback from it. When, like, I think all of us are like naturally like entertainers at heart and everyone that like Adrian, Austin, everyone, Matt, like we've all like, you know, Sean, Nick, we've all like, we all love making like a good entertaining video and watching it, like everyone enjoying it. And then seeing all the amazing comments, the likes, like, when you see a lot of likes, aren't you so happy, too? Yeah. Like, Monday it's like premieres. people think we're just out here just trying to make money sometimes. But it's also like, yo, 
we really enjoy making like good quality videos for the fans and getting that feedback is like so great it's so great so good like would you ever would you ever, would you ever day, just right? like make like terrible videos just no, to make money no no way like, I mean we, we we're trying it, our best yeah we love it so much that we we even have we have Monday premieres and we all watch it together every week just to like we love going to the office how Monday great. to like pre-watch the video and make sure it feels good and on the big screen everybody get yeah. together is like it's that's the great best feeling. part for me it's a great feeling because we know we put in so much hard work that. into the videos that we're like yo let's we're gonna watch our what we created so yeah we love the feedback i think with nelk and like our team full send we've set the standard so high and that's why our fans love us because our videos are actually like good really good like yeah. we changed the game when it comes to youtube yeah like before people would just upload bullshit like bro half the people when i came to la like they're not even youtubers anymore yeah. that's true like literally like i'm not trying to like call anyone out but like when i moved into the cloud house like all the people that were popping in the cloud house and like we were like the smallest ones like they they don't even upload yeah like none of them like they're not even youtubers so it's like we like changed the game by actually like uploading like real funny entertaining content i think we set so the we bar, set the so, bar high. so high that it's like if you yeah. have to do a video every monday too our fans will be the first ones to chew us out when we like don't put up a good video. And how are you planning mm -hmm. to do with cause now we have we have three big projects, right? We have Nelk, Full Send, we have Happy Dad, and we have Full Send Podcast. The podcast has made it even tougher now. Oh yeah, it's oh my god. And then we Steve gotta, has gotta a video every, every week too. Yeah, can we gotta film every We're putting out content. as a as like a full send network, we're putting out three videos a week, I guess. Mm -hmm. Four with Steve, if you wanna count Steve. Yeah. Like, well, three with Steve. I think the hardest thing's like ideas and figuring out you're going to film this project. Yeah. How you guys how you guys come out with all, all all the ideas? No idea. We just come up with them on the spot. I'm always thinking like I'm never like not thinking. I swear I like think about shit in my sleep, man. Like I'll wait like in the middle of the night like I'll take a piss and then I'll come back and I just won't be able to fall asleep because I'll be like thinking of like business day, shit or like ideas notes, like, like insane like this. How you guys put all that together? Like the ideas it just yeah, like Kyle said, you just think of shit. Brainstorming like, does help, though. Me when personally, we get into the like, when, I'm, when I'm out or something like that, like if I'm just out, I'm just thinking like, what could I do here? Like, you know what I mean? I, I look at the setting and just like, you just you just keep thinking of shit. Like as you like, go to a grocery brand, store, you go to the gym. Is your brand always like on that kind of Yeah, you have, like, to. You my, have what to. What are going to do here? What the I videos, see this funny part. What a funny thing can I take away on yeah, this? Yeah, the videos is what keeps everything, you know, in place. Like we gotta make great videos every week. It just there's yeah. no other excuses. Like you can't yeah, we have can't to. make any excuse. You just have to, because we've we've been making great videos since the start. I believe like every video has been like, wow, there's there's some good in this. Like everyone likes every Nelk video, but and then people also have going. to understand too, like older fans, like OG fans, whatever you want to call them. It's not possible to do the same pranks that we used to do. Like you can't. It's not yeah. like it's physically not possible. Like you can't. Yeah. The co like the college lecture one we did the other day, we only got away with that because we were in like a French speaking like Quebec. Mm -hmm. Like we could never just do that at any college. We can't go in to the like US. somewhere. It's so big, and everybody we're gonna recognize you. Any you can't go that, like yeah. We did Target, right? Target, Remember we did Target yeah. instantly got arrested. Instantly, the security prank we did in Texas, like all the fake instantly. employee pranks, are not possible you to do, do because it. even if you get away with it in the moment, now we don't get 500k views. We get five million views. So. The person that you prank or the store that you did it at is going to see it and they're going to fucking come after us now. Exactly. Which exactly what happened in Texas. We pulled the security prank off fine. And then three days later, we saw there was a warrant for my arrest, right? Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Crazy. And it's bro, I'm telling you right now. It does not hurt, right? We do not want to fucking end up in jail. How was that? -ish? Like, I'm telling you. Salim, you've never been, right? Never been. Actually, I've, I've, no, I've been once. Well, that that didn't really... Mississippi, but that wasn't really anything. But yeah, I've never been to jail for like a. Well, I got arrested the first day of the job. You guys remember that, bro? When I went in Texas, like Canada was like still pretty scary, uh, but Texas was like the real deal. Like this was like a movie, you know? Like it's exactly like like you know the lunch rooms in the jail. Yeah, like in the movies, like, like how they're all like, like sitting Netflix at like shit. the benches and shit. Like, it was, exactly it was exactly like, like that. It was like Orange is a New Black. This exactly like that. Like, and it's... People approaching you and, like, talking shit to you or, like, trying to, like, be funny to see what they can get like, out there's of Like, there's, like, there's different rooms around, like, the whole lunchroom. Like, let's say, like, 12 different, like, bedrooms. And each bedroom has, like, 
three or four bunk beds in it. And like everyone has like their toothbrushes in there and shit. Like they're like they're living in there, you know? So it's like eight people in one room and shit. And then you uh they take turns. So half the people are in their rooms, half the people are in like the main area. And then it like switches so that those people go to bed and those people come out. They all want to be there. Thank you. And it's like you'd fuck a lot in jail, I bet. You would Yeah, you dropped so I know they bore. So for sure they gotta fuck a lot. Yeah, you'd get railed for sure. Some guy, so I, I went up and I went up into the area and then like I walk into the main area and they're like checking me in on the clipboard and like some guy walks up to me right away and he like shake my hand and he's like, Hey, I'm butt naked. Like that yeah, that's what the fuck. You're gonna t- yeah, I knew you're gonna love this. He introduced he walks up to me, he's like he's like, Hey, I'm butt naked and he's like trolling me and shit. And he's like, like shaking my hand. I'm like, I, I wasn't even scared because I was like, soap I was like, no them? way this is actually happening. It was like a like, movie. It was just like surreal. I was like, honestly, like about to laugh because I was like, there's no way like this is actually what happening. What did you tell him your name was? I, I forget what I said back, but then right away the guard's like, oh, actually, no. Like she looked at the clipboard and she's like, you're in the other area. Like there's you're no, like, there's no way you in this one. And the guy's like, oh, don't worry. Like he could cuddle with me in my cell and shit. What like, the fuck? What? Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll I'll have to stay on that. So on you, that are you looking at everyone like requested? Like just being aware of like everyone around you? And no, and then and then me with what in jail? Yeah, like when 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 the yeah, guard and then, took you to and the then I spot. went in there. It was still like early, so people were sleeping. So I went in there and I slept, and then they they like yeah, I slept in the bunk bed. Oh hell, no, I couldn't do that, bro. Yeah, and then uh, they they rang the buzzer for like lunch or whatever. So like everyone got up like right away and like went for lunch and like I I just pretended to keep sleeping because I was like fuck that like I'm not getting up and shit and then one of the guys wakes me up he's like yo like are you gonna eat I was like nah like I'm not really hungry he he's like plate, he's right? like oh like well if you don't get yours like would you mind like getting it for me then at least like so it doesn't get like wasted I was like fuck so I get up and I like go get the lunch and shit and then I ended up eating like I just ended up eating it and shit and like everyone's just chilling there watching like a movie or some shit and there was actually a fan in there. So, but he was in the, how they rotate in the rooms. So he mm-hmm. was in the room yeah. and he starts banging on the window and like screaming at me and everyone's like looking and they're like, what the fuck? Like, like, does, do you know that guy? I was like, nah, like he's probably a fan. Like we do YouTube and shit. They're, they're like, like oh, oh really? Man. Like right when you say that, they like, when I was in Canada, I said that too. And like people loved it and shit. Yeah. They want to know you. They want to know Cause everyone's in there for like domestic violence or fucking something like that. And then when you tell them what you're there in there for, they just like, so they what, love ha- it. what happened when, when you told them? This was like five minutes after I got called to leave. Yeah. Yeah. It was like five I'm minutes gonna after. We're going to get Kyle out of the show like right away. You don't want to leave him there, you know? Yeah. So five minutes after I got called to leave. But it was at that point where like another hour and I would have been in there for like two days or some shit. Because mm-hmm. like for processing or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, no way, dude. But yo, you do not want to end up in there. Is that, yeah. is that soap joke a true or no? Or you haven't had Probably, it? yeah. I met some guy in there that was in there for three weeks and he was saying like, he didn't shower with like the main people and shit. Holy fuck. And like, damn, he said man. It, it was fucked, uh, bro. You don't, don't want to. I don't know if I would be able to shower that in jail, hurt. but like, I'm really shy and shit, but like, yeah. maybe we're good, maybe we're bad. I, I don't think, I don't know what I, I would do. Well, you'll probably see some guys you want to fuck and you'll be laughing, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it would have it probably been like Christmas for you there. Yeah. Christmas. For sure. Yeah. We could pick out your gifts. You'd be the Brazilian Santa Claus in there. Yeah. <laughs> no. A big sack, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you got so fucked. Uh, uh, Steve, what's up? Like, do you think planning coming back home? <laughs> this is home for Steve. He's born in Florida. Okay, but like, we miss we miss him back in LC. Do you so plan on coming back? I don't know if he's going to come home? back to the house soon. Everybody been asking that, by the way. I don't know. Um, I kind of like it in Florida. Cause right now I'm close to to my mom and dad. I have all my properties, everything here. I have everything. I have all my everything here that's mine. Going back to Orange County last week, it made me realize Orange County is pretty cool. Newport Beach, California, it's really nice. Yeah, we called that the rehab center, right, Kyle? I call it the rehab center. Enough. Yeah, it really is. It's really so nice. Chill, right? Yeah, it's chill. So I definitely. I mean, I enjoyed being there. We have a beautiful house. The house beautiful is area. Amazing. You know, Johnny and Sammy there. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be coming back uh, more often because it's super nice there. But Yeah, your room is there. I was clean. I was dead. But I think it's better for, for Steve's channel to be out here if he wants to do every week, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, all content for it's him. easier to definitely. do every week here 
being in Orange County is like a hassle driving to like LA Like we don't even shit. film really in Orange County. Yeah, we, we don't, don't film at all. We got to like travel now. We don't really like... film. Orange County is just our post-up spot. And we like, really don't party there at all. Like, no, not at all. I don't. Because there's like, nothing to do. There's no bitches there. To do. Like every time I want to go out in Orange County, I'm like, eh, it's going to be a, a bunch of like, I don't know. It's just not really our scene, right? Yeah. So like that's why I'm not really tempted, which I love it. When I'm there, I'm just on the fucking grind. And then we party on the road and hit these like mm-hmm. dope sends in Miami, like St. Louis with the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Those, like, yeah. We always in Miami. We're always like, that- whenever we travel is when we party. I do miss the road. Like I remember we were on the road like a year ago. Like that's really fun. Just like but seeing everything you know? so different. Huh? You're 19, you know? Yeah. It's dope. I like I like no, seeing traveling's awesome, bro. Traveling's I like traveling. great. And I, it's all I about get balance. organized. I'll just travel. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. Kai, when Kai calls me, Gabe, we're going to go this. I was like, fuck, It's all about man. balance. You want to travel. And then when you travel for a bit, you want to go home. You want to chill. Like, yeah. it's just, I love being back and forth. And what's so, I love us when we're so spontaneous. It is crazy. Like, sometimes to... you just get that itch to travel. You're like, yo, yeah. I want to travel. Yeah. And then we yeah. just get to like, we just get to go. And everyone's like fired up. You no, the, mem- like the memories it. is very very crazy like we're just being open but uh it definitely is a blessing this lifestyle so are you our new host or cause i don't know well we uh we wanted bob menry to sit out for this episode because he's in the penalty box penalty box okay just for give him some time to reflect on his actions and stuff like that let let me bob and like guys i think we got enough content right bob is that kind of guy to like just fuck off and stop no bob bob actually texted me i'll read it he said He said, I think maybe this episode be you guys. I think it could may build more towards storyline, especially with Steve. We can be on standby with Floyd because we might do Floyd Mayweather next episode. Floyd Mayweather, yeah. But that way it gives the audience what they want per se and get a real gauge of the show. I'm fine with this one, you guys. I think it may be funnier that Bob gets replaced by Gabe. Bob just doesn't doesn't give a fuck, bro. Bob told me like Gabe... I think whatever is good, whatever. What do you good, guys think about good. all the hate on that on Bob? It's a Steve. lot of what hate. I, I don't know what to think about it. I love Bob. I just Bob's like a guy. Damn, I don't like, know Steve's opinion because he hasn't been with us for like all the episodes. I mean, I see it and I think it's bullshit because I think Bob's hilarious. He's so funny. Bob's great. But yeah, I think it's just guy. people watching and not like maybe if I just watched the Full Sun podcast and didn't know Bob in person so well, didn't see any of his content and just like, that's my first impression of Bob. Maybe I wouldn't like him as much. You think so? Maybe. I mean. But what is it? I, I don't like, what is it that they're hating? Like what? I don't get it. They hate him that they, he just like interrupts everybody talking. He interrupts. Star, yeah, but that's Bob. Uh, that's he's that's like, who that's Bob done. is. No, what is annoying is him cutting it short. I don't know. He I, does, that's annoying. That's he really does. annoying. I, I do notice too, like, He's he's very scared to get into the edgy shit too, because he's his Bob's biggest fear is being canceled. Bro, we're edgy. He hates to like he's so scared of being canceled and shit. That's why he didn't even want to do the podcast with us because he like knows we're like fucked. <laughs> so the second someone says something that's like in the danger he's zone, change it, right? he like completely frees up and just <laughs> like the Rodman clip. Yeah, the is one so that funny. You, yeah, the one you posted was hilarious. Like when he's like, so that's why suicide rates are so fucked up these and days. Went- and Bob's just like. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Love that. Love that. Uh, yeah, yeah. How many, so how many rebounds did you, did you get? How many technical <laughs> that, oh, Bro. That's why he said that then. Yeah. Okay. So how many technical was... fouls did you get? <laughs> and you, you'll be right about to get like a good answer out of someone. And then he's like, all right, back to Afghanistan. Yeah, <laughs> shit. yeah like, that's what he does. It's so fun. Yeah, cutting it short and, and definitely zapped. that. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the two. Well, like, we'll see you guys. Give us uh, your honest thoughts about this podcast. This one was kind of different. Just the boys. We'll do this once in a while too because this would get kind of repetitive doing this all yeah. the time mm-hmm. but once in a while i think we should do an episode just like the behind the scenes of nelk yes no guests just like so much talk, just a right? little little update our life on the behind the scenes so of nelk we'll we'll bring in people like gabe steve thanks for letting us do this and then who knows who else we'll bring in too right thanks for hosting us here in your, in your house steve osgod lucas they didn't, like, they didn't like Lucas on the 905 like one, him. though. Maybe 906. We should interview him on why he's a fucking Maybe idiot. not Lucas, you know? That guy's a dummy, Maybe man. Maybe not Jamie Kulik? No, not Gambles, probably. Gambles, if people no. want to interview Gambles, you know? I'm sure they want the Jesse one. I'm down to do that if- Let's uh, do Jesse soon. ASAP. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, new episodes of the Full Send Podcast every Wednesday. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, there'll be an extended version of this podcast only on Apple. Uh, so make sure you listen to it on Apple as well. And yeah, subscribe. Let's get this channel to a million uh, new episodes every Wednesday. Merch drop? It's killing it. Oh, yeah. Uh, the merch drop. We're doing a new full send drop. 
October 4th on fullsend.com. Uh, we're going to we're going to reveal the collection this Monday if you guys are listening slash watching. Oh. Yeah, go to so, IG, comment your sizes. We give you merch yeah, away. Yeah, comment your sizes. We're giving away merch every day next week. So just spam yep. the comments. Any of our posts uh, with your size. You want more You want more fans to scout. That's why you're telling them to comment. Yeah, go my post, That's comment my photo and Steve, comment your sizes, comment your, your horniest comments. Me and Steve and Kai are going to be sending your box. So yeah, at Gabe Poncho. Let's go. Talk picks to Gabe will increase your odds of of uh, oh getting merch as well. I don't want to get canceled. Do you be scrolling account. through your followers like, oh, he's cute. Oh, oh Hell yeah. yeah. I do that. Kai, Kai <laughs> got me this last guy's, time. You have to understand, this guy's a guy too. He's horny, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I get it. No, no, I like, get it. Like, we're horny. I get it, I get it yeah. Just because he's gay, he's not going to be, he's gonna be like, just as horny as who us. follow me today. Look, okay, last thing, I know we are the fucking longest time, but I've been following this guy for like literally seven years or more. Okay. And he's like a famous guy already, right? He but followed he, you back? He commented on my photo, he followed me back, and he DM'd me. And said what? You jerked to that one for but, sure. Bro, I've been following that for so long. <laughs> he's from the UK, and I, he'd love you guys. And then he's like, oh, the boys are so fun. Keep killing it. You guys are doing an amazing job. I was like, bro, I can't believe this guy's texting me right now. <laughs> for me, it was like the biggest shit ever. Because you know when you follow somebody, they're like, I don't know. I don't think never I'll be able to talk to this guy. Yeah, no. And then he DM me. I was like, I think you should get shredded. I think you get you should get shredded. You'll be a fucking sex machine. Well, we get in the gym set up at the office, and then my goal is to go there because when we back home, I'm in the office literally like 15 hours a day. So I will go to the gym at the office. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Yeah, and just no think of all the guys the you're gonna pull, bro. There's a lot. That's yeah. what I think of. I just think like, yo, I'm gonna wheel so much harder. You should think of that too. Yeah, but I'm really happy today that that guy DM me and he followed me back, and I opened it. She was like, "Holy fuck, that guy that I've been," and I even subscribed to his OnlyFans before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do OnlyFans <laughs> anymore, by the way. But before he used to, like a year and a half ago, two years ago, and so I you just toss up cock pics on there. No, he never did that much content but he always like put like pictures of you know like his pack what, what his gets you going like is stuff. it a nice horn or is it like a nice ass bro he has a six pack he is muscle he's okay first of all he's blonde and blue eyes and he's from the uk so i love uk accent so you like blonde blue eyes yeah you're, like, like, you're like hitler no. yeah huh you're like hitler no <laughs> he just he just like you know it's just something different and then I don't know. I'm just super excited today. I want to thank you guys for that because, you know, he came because you guys. But I was just so <laughs> happy, bro. I text, I woke up, I text, I text our other sister and I was like, fuck, man. I got to damn for this guy. I was so excited. But yeah, so thank you. All right. Cool. But yeah, guys, let yeah. us know in the comments what you guys think uh, hosting wise. Do you guys want Bob back? Do you want him out? Um, what do you guys think of Gabe on the podcast? Let me know, cause like. Thanks for giving us your perspective too. On of course, it's cool. I, I'm, I I'm interested here. in it, cause yeah. I, you know, gay. I'm glad I have a like a gay a gay friend. Yeah, a gay brother. We're together, you know, we yeah. kind of travel together. Awesome. Time take care of each other. All right, golf guys. Fuck off your golf shit, man. <laughs> All right, see you guys right. next Wednesday. Bye.